What do you mean when you say the key is to attack and control minds? Well, what we've seen happen, I mean, it's been going on for years. The government understands how to use the media. It's nothing new, but I think what happened during COVID was an exponential effect of misuse of media from Twitter before Elon Musk bought it to Facebook to uh, people's messages being deleted. I was deleted off Facebook for several months just for shooting this documentary. Never understood that one. Couldn't operate on my own pages. Um, a silencing of people speaking up uh, at that time of what they thought was wrong. It was, you know, I was even black sheep for my own family. Um, I think a lot of people were, just by speaking their minds. I think people knew, some people knew there was something inherently wrong. Now I think a lot of that's coming out and people understand what went wrong there. But before, I mean, that was a scary time during uh, early 2020. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, what information did you discover to talk about a plan to destroy American values? There's a number of things going on. I mean, the Republicans, the Democrats, this thing might lean left in terms of blame, the blame game because of a lot of Democratic governors and leaders that really used COVID as a way to perhaps destroy Trump in some ways, perhaps make sure he didn't win election. But there's also things, things that happen on the Republican side. You know, there's a lot of money that moves, as everyone knows, from the war machine to corporations to the pharmacy companies. I think that moves through both parties. I call it the two-party oligarchy. Um, that our system, our constitutional republic, wasn't meant to be a two-party oligarchy. It was meant to be a, a, a government of the people. Um, right now, the only way to win POTUS or the presidential elections and even some other elected officials and positions is to actually be a member of one of the parties. The, the way the money moves, the way the electoral college is set up. Even Trump ran as a Republican. Republicans hated him in the beginning. And, but he had to run on that ticket to win with all his money. So that should tell you something about how our system's set up. And I think it's time, um, you know, not only do we want to educate people about the Constitution, but where, where do we go from here? I mean, the whole world's falling apart today. You got the Israeli war, you got a potential World War III, you got abrasions and things going on with China, Iran. We're in a scary place right now. And people need to be reminded about what those rights are, what it means to be an American, be proud of their country, and understand that we do as people have a solution and that's to put together potentially a new party or a new way to uh, run our government more effectively.